And now it's over to Chef Mark for another sensational sandwich idea to help make lunchtime what's more it? interesting. So what's in today's sandwich, Mark? <laughs> right, today we've got tuna. So it goes beautiful canned tuna here. I'm going to show you how to jazz it up. We've got this beautiful sourdough. We've got some Gruyere cheese and some black olives. It's very simple, very tasty. You'll love it. And I've got some tips and tricks on how to sharpen all your knives a little bit later on in the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen and Market Sandwich Week to inspire lunchtime across the country and today it's a tuna <laughs> speciality. And earlier at the start of the show I couldn't say the name of the cheese that you're using. What is it? Gaillere? Is that no? <laughs> Gruyere. Oh, Gruyere. Okay, cool. Just, just do it with a French accent and okay, then it all Gruyere. sounds great. Oh, yeah, nice. well, I'm looking forward to this. So well, let's get started. because Right, yeah, yeah so I'm the hungry. humble tuna sandwich. Yes. So, so, I don't know, back in the UK you get tuna sandwiches and it's just a bit cheap tuna and mayonnaise on, on like some white bread and that's it. But boring. You know, very boring. Yes. This is like the jazzed up version. So we are going to make a bit of a tuna salad, but we're going to put some good, great flavours in there. So Yum. we'll make the mix now. So just a can of tuna, nice. which is really good, you know. Loads of uh, protein in there, really healthy. Good. Um, we've got some capers as well, so it's really good. You know, so you've got the richness of the tuna. It's nice to put some like acidic things in as well, just to mm. make all the flavours pop. So capers, really good. Nice. Just going to roughly chop those. Yep. Um, you know what's really good in this recipe? What's gherkins. Oh, you know okay. those sweet pickle gherkins? Yes. It absolutely works fantastically oh, well. It's probably wow. one of the main ingredients in there. But someone must be pregnant on the show because someone <laughs> ate them and we haven't got any for the recipe. Oh, wow. But they did leave me an empty jar, so I've, I've just <laughs> taken this pickled onion out here and I'm going to chop <laughs> that in. Who ate the gherkins? I don't know. There will be a full investigation later on. Oh, there will be a full um, investigation. Well, actually, there's a, there's a tip for you, you know, because you get all those, um, you know, you do get those onion parts in the uh, gherkins and you yeah. normally look at them and throw them away so you can actually use them in a recipe. Oh well, there you there go, you go. bonus. Yeah. We've learned something due to your <laughs> gherkin stealing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's alright. That was usually me that pinches the food around here. Was it you? <laughs> no it wasn't me, it definitely wasn't me. Right and then a little bit of mayonnaise here so um, you know you can use any mayonnaise you want but it's nice to use that, you know that Japanese mayo? Yeah. Uh, the Cupo mayo? Oh, I mayo. used to have had it on the show uh, before. Yeah, yeah yeah it's beautiful with tuna. Nice. Um, so get that in there. You don't want to do too much, just enough to sort of bind it together and make it creamy. Okay. A little bit of parsley as well, so we're just going to roughly chop that. Yep. And then, you know, seafood lemon. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in, but then on the fine, finest setting on your grater, you can mm -hmm. grate a little bit of zest. Okay, That's cool. going to help it all pop as well. Okay, so straight in here. Yeah, yeah, straight in there. Not too much, just a, you know. Just a bit. Yeah, just a little bit, little bit more, yeah. Yum, good work. So, that little Isaiah, um, so inspiring before. Oh, it's Honestly, amazing, isn't it? Everybody, while well, you're making your sandwich, when you finish doing that, you jump online. Isaiah's dream to walk and you help him out, okay? We can do Definitely. this. We can do this as a country. Okay, cool. I right. carried away, might have put a bit too much in there. <laughs> Tuna sandwich, not lemon. <laughs> yeah, true. Right, okay. and then a, a little bit of shallot as well. Mm -hmm. It's really good. If you haven't got shallots, uh, red onion, that's really good. You know, it's not as strong. Uh, just be careful if you do put white onion in because it's really strong and sort of acidic. So okay. definitely a red or a shallot. Right. So it's nicely chopped. Jeez, um, it's smelling good already. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and you know, if, you, if you're a bit sort of like health conscious and you don't want any extra carbs, just eat it as a salad. Oh, yeah, there you go. You know? But it Fine won't be as good and it won't be a sandwich. Right. Garlic black olives. And black olives. So I'm just going to dice the black olives. That's a really good flavour. What? I don't like olives. <laughs> but it's all right. It's a really good flavour combination with okay, the well, uh, tuna. You. It works really well. I, I mean, trust you. Not, you don't need to put too many in there because they are quite strong and powerful. But just dice them up and just have a few going through. I tell you, you'll try it after and you will like it. You'll be a convert. No, well, you're the expert. <laughs> I trust you, Mark. I trust you 100%. OK, we'll, uh, we'll just put those in there. Yep. A little bit of salt and pepper. Uh-huh. And then you give it a good try. OK. And then see where we're at. Might need a little bit of lemon juice in there Did as we well. Put the garlic in yet? No, no, that's for the. Uh, oh, okay. It's a little tip for the bread. Ah, oh, okay, sweet. All right, you give that. You give this a little taste. Okay, sweet. I'll get, get an a, olive on there. I'll try and get an olive in there too. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> no, you're right. That's beautiful. That olive is just kind of a nice subtle cut through. Yeah, it's just, just a little beautiful. bit there. Just, yeah, mm. just adds a little bit um, to the dish. Right, so you've got your mix ready, mm. and oh. second stage, we're going to get the, uh, we're going to build the sandwich, and then we're going to cook it. Okay, great. Stick around. We'll show you the next stages. We're halfway through making a tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich with Mark's pizzazz on it. So we've got our <laughs> mix ready, and now we're using that sourdough. Yeah, so we've got a nice sourdough. So you want a, you want a nice base. So get a good thickness in there. You know, not thicker than that, not thinner than that. 
Any reason why you chose sourdough? Is it just your yeah, preference or is it yeah, just it's just for the nice, sandwich? Yeah, great flavour in there, but it's quite dense as well. Okay. And we're going to toast it so it's going to lighten up, but it's not going to um, it's not going to break and it's not gonna, all the filling's not going to fall through as ah, well. Brilliant. So that's where you want to look for. If it's okay, too nice. holy, you probably yeah, you're, you're going to lose trouble. half your mix. Yeah, you're, that's you're, right. You're, yeah, your mix. You, you don't want to lose this mix because it is good. Right, garlic clove, cut it in half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to massage it onto the bread. Okay. Thus giving it a bit of flavour and making like a bit of a garlic bread. All of a sudden your sourdough is a little oh. relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> it's going, oh yeah, I'm going to be good. So <laughs> that's how a lucky good this is. Yeah. No, no, but it just gives you extra flavour as well. Right. So that's really good. Love it. Uh, right, cheese. What was it called? Um, guy ear? <laughs> no, <laughs> grey ear. <laughs> Stay in a French Grew accent. Ear. <laughs> grey ear. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's I've it. I've never heard of that cheese, though. But, hey, this is the great thing about the show, Mark. <laughs> I, well, you learn something new every day. That's right, you learn something every day. And that's it with cooking. So we're just going to grate it. And again, you may hate me for asking you this, but why this particular cheese? Oh, because if you taste it, it's got a really good taste. You know? Oh, yeah, I know that cheese. Yeah, yeah it's French. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. oh, it's not French actually, it's uh, Swiss. 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 I was going to say yes, Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got, yeah, we've got loads of flavour in there. So you, you want a cheese where, you know, it's got a bit of tang to it as well. It's going to help cut through and, um, you know, give you that extra flavour. You know, you could use an aged cheddar if you wanted. Nice. You know, just something with a bit of a uh, bit of pizzazz. Okay, so just a reminder, if you've just tuned in going, oh, look at this gorgeous sandwich, we've rubbed that sourdough, uh, sourdough with a little bit of garlic. Um, and then we're putting the cheese on now. So we're I'm just going to do. Mix. Yeah, I'm just going to do two thin layers. Yes. And then I'm going to do one on each side. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put the mix on. Yes. So you pour the you put the mix on. Okay. Not too much. So just do a nice even layer. Oh, okay. This don't be don't go right to the edge. Okay. Yeah, just do it in the middle. And then what you can do is just get a spoon and you can sort of compact it in and push it to the edge at the do same time. More. There yeah. you go. Yeah. A little bit more. Okay. So we do want to go to the edge, but then we're but we're pushing to the edge. And okay. remember, we learned yesterday. No, no, we're just going to do it on one side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we learned yesterday that it's all about the quantity. If you get the quantities right and the mixture of flavours, it's going to be beautiful. And if you and if you just lightly compact it now, yes. you know you've got a nice even spread, and you know it's not going to go anywhere. Make sure your your bread's the same shape. Pop it on top. Give it a gentle uh, push. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do, we've got a griddle pan here. Yes. A little bit of oil. You could use a little bit of butter if you wanted. Right. And then we're going to pop it in across. And we just want to do this on a medium heat. And we're going to toast it. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go this way. We're going to turn it 45 degrees so we get nice crisscrosses. We're going to turn it over. And then hopefully by the time we get all the bread toasted and it's hot, the cheese is going to melt and it's just going to lightly warm that mm. centre bit up. Because we've got the cheese on the outside, so that melts first. Beautiful. And it's just going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. It is going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. And of course this recipe and all the others are available on our website, thecafe.co.nz. So go and check them out if you need some inspiration. I'm loving sandwich week. Chef Mark's managing to make a week out of making sandwiches. So are you happy with today's? Look at that. Look how good that looks. Oh, Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. Cheese is all melted. Filling yeah. nice and warm, toasted. Can't yeah. get better than that, can no. you? Well, well, we'll try. Tomorrow, what are you going to be making? Well, another sandwich, of course. Right. Stay tuned to find <laughs> out.